Hey guys! Ah! I missed you! I'm not even gonna try to make an excuse kung bakit mga two weeks more or less ako nawala. I missed the camera and my hair is like a completely different color and a completely different cut. Although I probably should have cut my hair a little bit shorter and I probably might do that still. But anyway, enough blabbing. Today's video is going to be like a new thing on my channel. Lately, I've been thinking kung anong pwede kong gawin sa channel ko na I really love to talk about and that can help you guys. And I thought, of course, skincare. So mag-aala, mag-aala Wayne Goss ako, mag-aala Leah Yu, mag-aala Edward Avila John, kaya mahong ngayon charot di naman. So with that, I thought of doing a skin series. Um, I'm probably gonna call it that. So, yung tatakal natin today is skincare basics and my recommendations for like a basic skincare routine. Oh, by the way, I have like my no makeup makeup going on right now with just concealer, um, a little bit of eyebrow tint left from last night, um, a little bit of bronzer, and some ultra blotted lip from ColourPop. What do you guys think? Para lang hindi naman ako sobrang mukhang zombie zombie. Mukha naman siguro kung tao ng ganito itsura. Pero ayun, sobrang minimal lang ng makeup ko ngayon. Just to reflect on the series that I'm gonna be doing. Yung mga i-mention ko na items, tried and tested ko na yan guys ha. So as in, for me, pasadong pasado yan. And sana mag-work din sa inyo. Right off the bat, I just wanna say I'm not a dermatologist whatsoever. I don't have perfect skin whatsoever. So do take everything I say with a grain of salt. Pero sana mag-work silang lahat sa inyo kasi yun nga, I take pride in these products. Super love ko talaga sila. So ayon. Okay, let's get started. This is, by the way, granted, guys, na nagtanggal na kayo ng makeup or wala kayong makeup na suot. If ever may makeup ka pa right now, a quick way to remove your makeup is by using the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Yung meron ako is a pure active one and sobrang love ko to. As in, it just gets everything off and it's so gentle. There's no difference between this and the Bioderma one in my opinion anyway. Tapos sa tatanggal niya lahat, hindi siya stripping, hindi siya greasy. Pagtapos mong gamitin to, parang wala ka lang in-apply or parang nag-apply ka lang ng tubig talaga. So, yan. Ito yung may recommend ko if naghahanap kayo ng really gentle na makeup remover pero effective. Ito yun. Garnier Micellar Water yung may recommend ko sa inyo. Now that you have a clean slate, yung may recommend ko kasi na cleanser is something that gets the job done. But it isn't too stripping, it's not too harsh, and hindi siya sobrang tightening sa face. Ayoko sa cleansers yung sobrang hindi ka na makagalaw kasi sobrang na hinigop niya guys. Hinigop niya lahat ng natural oils mo and everything. I don't like that. So, yung favorite ko na cleanser is the Enprani White Cell Foam Cleanser. This is like so inexpensive. Nakita niyo siya online. Sobrang bilis lang niyang kunin. Ang daming nag-abend na ito. Ang ganda niya kasi nakaka-brighten siya ng skin. Immediately after you use it, ma makikita mo na ang bright ng skin mo and hindi niya nasa-strip yung natural oils mo. Hindi siya sobrang harsh. Hindi mo ma-feel na sobrang Oh my gosh! Natuyo na yung mukha mo dahil sa paggamit mo ng cleanser. And I really love that about it. It also says, by the way, that it's for all skin types. And I definitely truly believe that even people with dry skin can use this kasi hindi nga siya sobrang nakaka-strip ng oils. So hindi mo mafeel na sobrang mo pang dry. Sobrang nice itong Enbrani White Cell Foam Cleanser. After you cleanse, you want to tone your face para mabalik yung pH levels natin. Also so that yung other skincare stuff na ilagay natin, mas magsisink in siya, mas mag-absorb siya sa face natin. Yung first na tone na ma-recommend ko, is the Sun and Park Beauty Water simply because it's very straightforward. You remove niyo yung excess makeup, excess gunk, yung mga hindi na linis ng cleanser mo malilinis ito as in. Wala matitin ang makeup pag gamit mo ito. Sobrang refreshing din yung sa skin. Itong malaking bote na to, ilang buwan ko nang ginagamit. But as you can see, it looks like I've never even used it. It looks brand new because you only need a little amount. The skin absorbs it really fast as well kasi water yung consistency niya. Water yung consistency siya. Very, very liquidy, just like water. If you're someone who doesn't really like toner or minsan nakakalimutan nyo kasi yun nga, minsan parang importante pa to. It's really important. It hydrates, it exfoliates, and it also allows your other skincare products to sink in better. So, toning is very important, guys, ha? In your beauty water, super recommend ko yan. A milder option is the Claire Supple Preparation Facial Toner. In conjunction with my Sun and Park Beauty Water, ito for daytime. Ito, wala naman ako makeup sa umaga, diba? So, gusto ko mas mild lang sa umaga yung ginagamit ko. And I use the Dear Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. I like it because it doesn't have alcohol. Sabi ni K-Beauty Master Rich Ramos, hello, girl. Wala daw itong alcohol, so mas mild siya sa skin. Hindi lang siguro ako saray dito, kasi may just thick yung consistency niya. So yung Sun and Bark, parang tubig. Ito parang 
essence or parang serum yung consistency niya. For the most part, I really love this too and sobrang yung sikat sa Korea for good reason. Sobrang hydrating niya and after that, parang nakabrighten tapos parang may subtle glow din sa skin. Maganda naman din to. Yun nga, yung consistency lang hindi siguro ako sa type. Other than that, I really do like this as well. So when it comes to moisturizers, gusto ko simple lang. So I have the Village 11 Factory for the daytime. Gusto ko to kasi sobrang simple lang niya. So ayoko lang dito siguro yung packaging kasi you scoop out the product because it's like a jar container. And for me, that's not really hygienic. But other than that, amazing moisturizer to prep your face bago ka mag-makeup. Kailangan moisturize ka bago ka mag-makeup, guys, ha? Para yung foundation mo hindi masyadong mag-cling on sa dry patches mo if you have any dry patches. Even if you don't have a lot of dry patches to worry about, you still need to moisturize para hindi mag-overproduce ng sebum yung face mo. So, ayun. This is just a really nice, lightweight, but effective moisturizer. And, yeah, highly recommend the Village 11 Factory one for the daytime. Gamit ko si Eye White Aqua Moisturizer Whitening Vita. Kung gusto ko lang ng mabilisang pag-moisturize, wala akong oras. Yung skin mo, din drink up nitong moisturizer nito. Sobrang bilis. As in, from the moment you put it on, your skin is actually gonna absorb it very fast. So, after that, makakapag-apply ka ng makeup. It doesn't take a while for your skin to absorb this. Kasi yung texture niya very watery. So, ayun, mabilis siyang ma-absorb ng skin. It's so effective. I really like this as well. Now, this is my holy grail nighttime moisturizer because it's so... It's, it's just so good! Yung Glossy Priming Moisturizer Rich, you guys. I've talked about this. And I love it because it serves as like a sealant. Sealant pa ganun. Basta, pagod na after mo mag-ano, naglagay na iba pang mga pampaganda yung skincare products mo. After nun, parang siyang butter na nag-glide. Tapos parang kinakote na yung mukha mo. Tapos mafeel mo na lahat ng in-apply mo underneath, nag-sink in better kasi gamit mo yung priming moisturizer rich ng Glossy. Pagkagising ko, hindi ko naman din siya namamalayan sa mukha ko. Tapos sobrang plump ng skin ko. Alam mo yun, sobrang it's ami. I, I don't have words. I will definitely keep repurchasing this kasi ang galing sa skin. Pagkagising mo, plump and moisturized and beautiful skin. Parang, wow, am I glowing? No, it's because you apply this on top and it's it's amazing. For me, the best moisturizer award goes to the Glossy Priming Moisturizer Rich. So aside from those steps, syempre I recommend ko rin na maglagay kay ng sunblock. For the sunblock category, yung first favorite ko is the VR UV Perfect Milk SPF 50 PA++++. That's four pluses right there. And I love it because it leaves more of like a matte finish. Itong product to, may white ka siya ng onti. Onti, onti lang. Hindi naman sobrang intense. You have to shake it very well. Hindi ko ayun kita nyo. Pero, onti lang as in, nag-blend naman siya sa skin mo yung white cast niya. And hindi na siya sobrang halata. Ang ganda nito guys, para siyang base. Tapos parang ang matte din ang finish niya. So parang nakaka-oil control din siya in some sort. And it's just really nice. It's a great, great sunblock. Yung isa ka pang sunblock favorite is the Misha All Around Safe Block Essence Sun. Ito naman SPF 45. P++++. So, feel ko kaya ito may white cast ng onting-onti kasi super high power sa. Well, this one is a little less intense but still powerful. You also won't feel this on your skin because it has the consistency of a moisturizer and it sinks very well on the skin. It's not uncomfortable. It's not like a sunblock sunblock to where it's very uncomfortable and you kind of want to take it off kasi alam ko a lot of us forget about sunblock kasi they're very uncomfortable to wear but these two I really love to wear because they don't feel heavy, they don't feel sunblocky, and they do the job. So I love these. So itong tatlong papakita ko is for the extras category. Extras meaning exfoliators. I feel like exfoliating is still a part of a basic skincare routine. It's definitely very crucial. If you want to get rid of those dead skin cells, those blackheads, those rough patches on your skin, definitely exfoliation is the way to go. This is probably the least abrasive of the three I'm gonna show you. This is the Skin Food Strawberry Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. So, wash off nga siya, pero scrubby siya. May bits and pieces siya nung strawberry talaga inside. Ang bango-bango niya, as in sobrang bango niya. After you scrub away the dead skin cells using this, you leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then after that, ear and soft mo na siya. It does a job, it's mild, but it's moisturizing at the same time. So after mo gamitin to, hindi lang tanggal yung dead skin cells mo. Hydrated ka pa, moisturized ka pa, kasi moisturizing din tong mask na to. So super ganda niya. Something about me, I like abrasive exfoliants kasi, because I really feel like they take off all the unnecessary dead skin, yung mga unnecessary na layers ng skin na hindi ko kailangan. They take it away. Kung ayaw nyo ng masyado abrasive, kung gusto nyo tolerable pa, ito yung ma-recommend ko sa inyo. Ako, 
medyo doon ako sa abrasive kasi mas makikita mo talaga yung effect polished yung finish as in squeaky clean sobrang shiny and like polished nung finish ng skin mo and then after that mag moisturize ka na lang to bring back the moisture on your skin pero I think favorites ko dyan and both are high end products but I truly just I love these so much yung Ole Henriksen na transforming walnut scrub this is awesome. Medyo malalaki yung beads niya. At ma-feel mo siya sa skin mo. May, hindi naman siya masakit. Hindi naman siya masakit, guys, ha. Pero mas intense siya compared to yung skin food. After I use this, sobrang smooth ng skin ko. And makikita mo talaga na talagang tinatanggal niya lahat. Nakamassage din siya ng skin. So, very nice product. Over time, nakaka-improve siya ng texture. If you have like yung mga butas-butas sa skin, diba? If kung na yun, nagkaroon ka ng acne marks. Me, personally, I struggle with those. More abrasive scrubs like these work better for me personally. Yung isa ko ding favorite is the Dr. Brand Microdermabrasion. Ang ganda din niya. Super fine yung beads niya as in microdermabrasion nga as the name suggests. Sobrang fine niya as in sobrang maliliit lang siya. Madami sila eh na magkakasama na sobrang thin. So parang ma-feel mo talaga. When you circulate the product on your face yung motion niya as in ma-feel mo natatanggal niya lahat. Nare-refine yung texture. This claims that it renews skin radiance polishes and smooths and helps diminish the look of fine lines and all of that is definitely true. Out of all my exfoliants, ito talaga yung feeling ko. Sobrang polished as in after mo magamit to, your skin feels like a baby's butt because it just removes all the unnecessary dead skin cells that's on there. If you can, pick it up. Pick it up because it's so worth the money. It's incredible. It's different. It's great. It's amazing. So, nga guys, yung mga recommend kong skincare stuff for more of like a basic routine. Ito talaga yung mga products na sobrang light ang ginagamit and recommend ko sa inyo. And sana mag-work din siya sa inyo. I love each and every one of those products mentioned and I hope you do too. And yeah, that's everything I want to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to keep up with what I do, then follow me on my social media accounts always listed down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Leave a comment down below what you want to see next for my channel and I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Bye!